Today we're taking a look at a very interesting piece of LEGO history in the form of a promotional Weetabix castle set. Now Weetabix is a breakfast cereal in the UK and throughout the 70s they did a couple promotions with LEGO where I think it was that you would send in like box toppers or something that you would cut off of a Weetabix box and send that in to LEGO with a little bit of money and they would mail you back a uh, LEGO set in a plain brown box. So all these sets have very little info on them and no official boxes or piece counts or prices or anything like that. So there's not a lot known about them because of this. This one right here doesn't have a set number, although Bricklink lists it under set number 00-1 and simply calls it Castle. And interestingly, it was actually released in the year 1970. So this comes a full eight years before Cheese Castle, which was the first castle line that LEGO released. So depending on how you want to look at this set, you could actually consider it the first LEGO castle. Although personally for me, since it was never available on store shelves, I still consider the Cheese Castle to be the first LEGO castle. Now the instructions for this set are incredibly hard to find and very expensive if you do. So unfortunately I don't have them, so we're just going to have to jump straight into building and then we can come take a look at the set afterwards. Alright, so here's the completed set. Now, I'm sure the most obvious thing about this set is just how ugly these colors are. It's mostly white with the red walls and then the yellow tower in the back there. And then they have a little bit of blue accenting here throughout. Now, most of the set is just basic bricks. Then you do have a couple accenting pieces like these slopes and the window pieces. But that's pretty much it. And the scale is pretty interesting too because at the time there weren't any LEGO minifigures. Uh, minifigures came out in 1978 and I believe they had like the precursor to the minifigure in like the mid 70s so this is well before any of that so the scale I believe here is called HO scale which is like a train model scale half O and that was what they used for sets like uh, town plan and other stuff in that era where they had the you know full metal die cast cars that look completely out of place in Lego now so as you can see, there's no detailing or anything like that that would be fit for a minifigure. There's nothing really going on in the courtyard here uh, other than you've got a little stairwell in the back. You've got a small balcony back there. And you do have some fake doors, like there's a blue, couple blue bricks to imitate a door there. There is another door back on that tower and then one up here on the yellow tower. Although everything on the inside here is just hollow, so there's no details going on inside. Now like I said, since the set is mostly basic bricks, it's pretty cheap to just brick link your own, which is what I did here. The only expensive part is that Lego flag in the back there. 
And there are actually two variants of that. Um, there's one that has the uh, lip on the bottom like this one, just like the other cylinder studs beneath it. And then there's one that goes all the way down to the base with no lip. And I think the other one is a little bit cheaper, but I'm pretty sure that this is the one that came originally in the set because this is the type that they were making during the years that this set was around. So that piece right there is anywhere in the range of like 30 to $50, um, which is unfortunate. But obviously you don't have to get a flag if you don't really want it. Now this uh, UK flag right here is not listed in the instructions. However, I did find a picture of somebody who had the original mailing box and the instructions, and he did have this flag there. So while it's not known for sure, it could be likely that LEGO just mailed it out with that piece. Especially with um, Weetabix being a UK serial, it would make a lot of sense, and LEGO being pretty inconsistent with their inventories at the time. So since I had it, I just put it on there because I like the way it looks. And it's also got the you know two studs at the base, uh, or not the studs, the cylinders, just like the other flag has it there. So to me, it makes sense that it would go there. Apart from that, um, the only other difficult stuff to find are these windows here, and they're not particularly expensive, somewhere between like 50 cents and a dollar each. But just the fact that there's not many in North America, if you're ordering this set from North America, you're probably gonna have to order most of these overseas. And then lastly, these base plates on the bottom here are actually 10 by 20 base plates. And those are pretty uncommon too. Again, not expensive, just difficult to find in North America. And yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. That's all this set has going for it. It's definitely more of a display piece than a play piece because there's not really any elements that you can interact with. And as a display piece, it's pretty hideous. I do like the overall design of it. You know, like I like this overhanging par pit here and the nice uh, multi-layered tower in the back as well as the gate here. So um, I like the shaping, but the colors are just, I mean, they're hideous, <laughs> but it's a toy, so that's okay. Uh, I definitely don't really keep this one built that often, and it's, you know, not my, not my personal favorite. I just had to get it for the posterity of going, you know, so far back in LEGO's history, and I actually didn't know about it for quite some time until just last year. I just happened to be looking through BrickLink and looking at castle sets as I do, and I found this one sorted under the Legoland theme, so that's why I hadn't seen it before, is because it's not with the other castle sets. Now, like I said at the beginning, we don't have an official piece count or a price for it, so I can't give you an inflated price. And getting a used price on this is also pretty difficult because it hardly ever goes up for sale anywhere, and much less so with instructions. So if I had to guess, I would say without instructions, just brick linking it yourself would probably cost somewhere between $100 and $200, depending on if you go for the Lego flag or not. And then with the instructions, it could go anywhere up to like $400 or more. So I definitely don't think you should get this set. I just wanted to share this with you guys because probably not a lot of people know about this. Anyways, that is my review. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching.